How to use Microsoft Power Pages step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build amazing low code business websites using Microsoft Power Pages. Now, this is something a lot of people might not have even heard of before because Microsoft, you usually think about PowerPoint and Word and Microsoft Teams, but did you know that Microsoft has Power Pages, which allows you to create amazing websites and amazing pages? To get started, simply head on over to Microsoft.com slash Power Pages, and you're going to click on Try It For Free over here. Once you click on that, you're going to enter your Microsoft email address, and you're going to agree to their terms, then click on Start Free Trial. Once you click on Start Your Free Trial, you're going to be led to the next page, so you guys can see it is currently signing me up for Microsoft Power Pages. Now, if you don't have an account on Microsoft already, you can easily create one. It's a really simple process, and you just have to use an email address and you know create a suitable password and verify your account. And once you've done that, you can sign up. So once we've done that, you guys can see it's asking me a couple of questions. So firstly, I have to put in my last name, then I have to enter the region, then I have to confirm my phone number. Now that I have completed that, we can move towards our next step, which is going to be our account sign up completion. It might take a couple of seconds for the preview to load up, but this is what Microsoft Power Pages looks like. On the top, you have a control panel. On the top right, you have your account and your account settings. And then from here, you can access other Microsoft tools as well. Now over here, we're going to click on Get Started. And once we click on Get Started, we can get started with creating our website. Now firstly, uh, they have a few suggested questions that you can answer or you can skip them from the bottom right. This is up to your personal preference how you want to do that. Now, below that, you also have certain prompts. So you can describe the site that you want and you will allow Copilot to build it for you. You guys can see we have multiple different types of websites that we can build. This really depends on your personal preference and what type of website you're looking to build. You can see they have multiple different suggestions. You can refresh these suggestions to actually get a fresh idea. And you can choose an industry over here so you have better suggestions that are tailored towards your particular industry. So for me, I want to create something like a retail store. So I want to build a site for a online clothing store, create product listings, prices, homepage, collections, and let's say a FAQ page and I want to also create customer registration and checkout. Once I've done that, I will just provide these details and move towards the next step. Now, once you do that, you will see Microsoft Power Pages is going to ask you for your basic site name and URL that you want to use. Let's say I want to use the name Lilies for my site, and then I can create a web address. So I want it to be lilies.powerappsportals.com. The suffix that is going to be provided is by Power Pages. If you want to add your own domain, you can do that later on as well. Then click on next over here and you will see a basic site layout. So this site layout is actually really nice. It has a our team section, our story, mission, our vision, and then a shop now button. And I think I'm going to click on next over here. Now, you guys can see, would you like to add any pages now? I do want a product listing page. A, I don't need a prices page. I think I want a FAQ page, a checkout, or maybe customer registration. I think I'm just going to make this something of a brand portfolio. So I want product listings and FAQs, and then I'll click on done. Obviously, Power Pages is not optimized, especially the free version is not optimized for e-commerce so uh, it's better if you reserve e-commerce type of websites for people that are only using microsoft on their premium power pages or if you are using the you know power pages as just a display then it's going to function a bit better so we're gonna get started with actually you know drawing up and creating our website obviously 
although the template is amazing, there is still a lot of customization that you might want to do. So you guys can see on the right, you also have Copilot. Now, Copilot allows you to create pages and sections within your site that you can integrate with AI. So you don't have to manually create everything and stylize everything. Firstly, I'm going to click on site header. We have a site logo and I don't want to include that. So I'm going to remove that completely. Then we have our styling. So I hate these brand colors. Uh, they don't go with the brand that I'm trying to create. So I'm going to go with these burgundy type of colors over here. So I'm just going to shift everything a little towards the burgundy side like so. And we have this mustard color, which again, I don't want to use. I don't want to use a excessively bright color either. I think white and black look fine, but this color is not going well with my burgundy. So I think I'm going to make this uh, a pastel. Yeah, I think that's going to look better. And after that, we have our font. So again, I'm going to click on the font section. And when you're editing these styles, these are going to be applied throughout the entire section. So firstly, I want to use a sans serif font. That's just my personal preference. So I think I'm going to go with open sans. And we have our site navigation, which again, I'm going to search for. Maybe the dancing script looks fine as well. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to again use open sans. That's just my personal preference. And they have a outline for the box, which I think I'm going to do with a darker color. Then after that, we have our layout. So if we want to make this smaller, if we want to make our header larger, I'm going to go with a larger header. Then I'm going to go into styling. Then I'll go into the font sizing. And I'm going to make the font a tad bit smaller. Now that we've altered the site header, it's time to move towards our next section. The next section is usually going to be your banner or your hero section. This is pretty standard and it looks like what you would normally see. You can click on the layout over here to alter it as well. And you can click on edit background to change the image. You can add a image from your image library, stock images, or you can also choose to add your own images as well. It's uh, going to be very easy when you are using your own images. So you're just going to click on upload image. And from here, you can upload the image of your choice. I want to go with something that resembles the banner image. So I'm going to use this product image that I think looks good as a banner image as well. So I'm just going to wait for this to be uploaded onto our Microsoft Power Pages. Click on OK over here. And now we have our hero section. Now to alter the text, I can place it in or I can go into Copilot and I want to rewrite this and it's going to recreate text for me. Experience the blend of style and innovation with Fashion Fusion. I think I'm going to replace the text and I'm going to remove the Fashion Fusion part and I'm going to remove the bottom text section. I can select the text section, click on these three dots and then click on delete. Then after that, we have our shop now button. So to link this, I can click on the button and then click on settings to alter it as well as click on over here. I'm just going to click on edit and I can link it to a certain page. Let's say I want to link this to my product listings page and the button label instead of shop now, I want it to say view now. So I'm going to change that and then click on OK. Just like that, we have our first section created. Now, let's say these uh, sections within my homepage are not necessary for my site. So I can click on these sections and then click on these three dots and click on delete. You can also select, click on command. We're just going to select these excessive sections and click on delete. At the bottom, you have a footer. And if you want to add your own section, just click on add section and choose the type of section you want. Once you've done that from the left, you can add multiple different types of components as well as styles. So if I want, I can choose the type of component. This includes things like a card gallery where I can connect it to data. And by data connection, it refers to any type of data. This could be a product display. So I would just connect it to my list of products and this would be an amazing product display. And you can also add buttons, images, videos, spacers, frames, flex containers, and more. Once you're satisfied with the overall appearance of your site, you can click on preview on the top right. 
and do a desktop preview as well as a mobile preview on your phone. This allows you to see how your website looks and how it's functional, what needs to be altered before its final launch. And in this way, you can build some amazing websites using Microsoft Power Pages. It's simple, easy, and can be a great way to get started for building simple and easy landing pages, portfolios, displays, wedding websites, and more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.